Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, 
through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that, persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may furthermore effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought the fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Please stand. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Normal sa atin, perhaps, ang magkaroon ng alalahanin sa buhay. Lahat tayo ay nakakaranas nito, nakaka-experience. So much so na may mga problema na nakakalipas, may mga problema na nasusolusyonan na namin. Pero, hindi rin kaila sa atin na minsan nalalamon na tayo ng problema. Nanalamon tayo ng mga worries natin. Worries to the point na hindi na tayo makapag-move forward dahil na-stuck na tayo doon sa alalahanin na yun. At malamang ngayon, siguro, marami pa rin tayong mga bagahe dinadala sa ating paglalakbay. Hindi maka-move forward, hindi maka-move on dahil sa mga previous experiences. Agam-agam, no? alalahanin na minsan pumipigil sa atin, nagpapabagal sa atin, sa ating progress, no? sa ating journey. Kaya minsan, na-stuck tayo sa ating karera, sa ating paglalakbay. My dear brothers and sisters, the very first words we have heard in the gospel today, perhaps is an assurance in this kind of situation. Anong sabi ni Jesus sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon? Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayon na isang tabi muna natin ang lahat ng mga daladalahin at mga pag-aalinlangan sa buhay. Nanginiwala ba kayo doon? Siguro sa iba, Father, ang sarap pakinggan. Pero parang tila ba ngayon Medyo ang hirap naman yata paniwalaan. And it's true, no? It's true. Kung walang challenge, hindi totoo ang ating pakikipaglaban. No? Kung hindi mahirap, perhaps we are just dilidalihin. No? Kung may hamon, dun tayo lulokso. No? Kaya nga may tinatawag na leap of Faith. Talon. Talon. Pinapaalala at iniimbitahan tayo ngayon ni Jesus na huwag sana nating problemahin kung paano tayo makakarating sa ating paroroonan o kung ano man klaseng daanan, landas na ating tatahakin. Dahil siya mismo ang gagabay at maghahanda ng mga ito para sa atin 
pagpatungo sa tahanan ng Ama. Words of assurance. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Ang mahalaga sa paglalakbay na ito ay si Jesus ang sinusunda natin. At dahil siya at sa lamang ang tanging makakaturo ng daan patungo sa bahay ng amang nasa langit. Marahil lahat na mga karasan, karanasan previously ay pinoproseso pa natin ngayon. Sana isama natin ang mga salita ni Jesus ngayong araw na ito sa pagpoproseso natin sa mga bagay-bagay na ito. Siguro magandang tanungin natin sa ating mga sarili, ano bang mga bumabagabag sa atin ngayon? Ano bang mga bagay-bagay na nagpapabagal o tila baga nakapag-istak sa atin? Kung kaya't minsan pakiramdam natin ay nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa, nahiiwan tayo sa paglalakbay. Nakalimutan natin kung sino yung kasakasama natin. Sa paglalakbay natin ngayon, sino nga ba ang sinusundan natin? Si Jesus ba? Certain idolohiya? Certain narrative na dapat nating sundan? Kaya balisa tayo ngayon. Insecure tayo ngayon. Sa isang gospel passage, sinabi pa na Jesus, Kung ninanais ninyo na makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos, kailangan ninyong tularan ang loob ng isang bata kung paano siya magtiwala. For those who want to enter the kingdom of God, we need to be childlike. We need to fully trust in God and sometimes just let just let things be. Because sa lahat ng mga nangyayari ngayon, sino bang in control? Tayo ba? O ang Diyos? Worryless. Let's all have and develop a carefree attitude. Not because there is no problem, but simply because God is more powerful than any sort of problem we may have. Mga kapatid, sa pagpapatuloy natin sa ating misa, hingi natin ang biyaya ng isang pusong mapagtiwala. Put your faith in me. Ipagdasal natin sa misang ito na nawa, bigyan tayo ng disposisyon kagaya ng isang bata. Malakas ang tiwala at kapit sa Diyos. Matutunan sana natin na magtiwala at magpaubaya ng lubos sa Diyos. Nang sa ganun, maging matiwasay, mas maging peaceful ang ating paglalakbay patungo sa Ama. May our response to every situation, problem, or occasion be that of a child, believing in the assurance and words of Jesus. Sa Tagalog pa, akong bahala sa inyo. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with complete trust in our Father, who in Jesus prepared a place for us in heaven. In every prayer we say, Father, lead us to your kingdom. Father, lead us to your kingdom. That the church may lead the faithful in the ways of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father lead, lead us to your kingdom. kingdom. That public servants may become living and effective instruments in the transformation of our society. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father lead us to your kingdom. kingdom, that those who are troubled by material and financial concerns may seek refuge in our Lord's providential care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father lead, lead us to your kingdom. kingdom, that in our bodily or spiritual infirmities, May we all the more depend on God, who wants to grant us total and permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom, that those who have died may be freed from the troubles in this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, lead us to your kingdom. Father in heaven, grant that we may ever keep our eyes on your house where we hope to dwell with you forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Peace be seated. May their brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. The highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in, in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Fatima, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And, lead and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only but say only the word, and, my, word, soul and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.